Ah, uh, who will be fighting with the blue lions? Who will be fighting? Like, we already got Ash, Felix, and Sylvain, so <laughs> they're not planning to betray us anytime soon. I've got our name. Even, even worse, I'm in the middle of doing the blue lions right now, like the game. And also, with the blue lions part, I'm on the part, oh no, I'm after the part when, when, um, Dimitri went, oh, my favourite part where he goes crazy. And it goes completely insane, and we're just like heading to battle. And I think with that battle, it will come to the whole thing with five years later, everyone looks different. Dimitri have an iPad to do, never, never been found, and everyone looks actually pretty good. And they're all probably signal. <laughs> and then, but the best part, y you come in. I have no objection. There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. Oh, I know that. I know that. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task and mine alone. The child's existence? Are you talking about me? Excuse me, I talked to one of the little guys and also that she was a child. Okay, Rhea's thing is to, like, murder me, and Dimitri's side is about getting Elgard. What huh? do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tail Team Plane. The same planes where the so-called Divine Saros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lu created the kingdom by defeating the Emperor of the Time on those very planes. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes. I suppose, although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Saros, we would likely come up short. The Kingdom's army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. You must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We are the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor. You have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. As Emperor, I must not die in this war, and it would be unacceptable to lose you as well. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood? Mm hmm. Have a little drink of water. And we are ready. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm actually very really excited for the fight. Okay, now we are exploring first. And anytime we do, B plus gather. I don't know, I forgot. Hello. Hello. Wait. Should I? Why not? Why not? Why not? Linhard, I finally found you. Oh, are we at the the, the area of the art tomb? These structures were built more than a thousand years ago and still remain. Amazing. Most interesting, there's a pattern to the saint's emblems carved into each of the sarcophagi. Here, 
You'll see if you come take a look. Perhaps another time. Right now, I have something to discuss with you. You've said before that you don't care about the usefulness of your research. After giving it some thought, I decided that I'd like to create an institution for Crest and Relic research, and I'd like for you to lead it. All you would need to do is carry out whatever research you like. Somebody else will decide how to make use of your findings. What do you think? I imagine such an environment would suit you quite well. Oh, let's be clear that I have my reservations. But I suppose I'll take you up on your offer, if you insist. Although I'm unsure it's a good idea. If my research dries up, you'll be stuck with a worthless institute. I do hope you understand that, Your Majesty. Why are you skeptical about my proposal? It's because all I've ever cared about is following my own curiosity, wherever it takes me. Being head of some institution and researching as part of an organized team sounds like no fun at all. At that point, it's not research, it's just a job, and one I've been practically forced into at that. However, since I know you've put a lot of effort into preparing this opportunity for me, and since I like you well enough, I will, begrudgingly, take you up on the offer. Well then, I suppose I should be grateful. But I'll be honest, I see little point in bringing you on board if you're so troubled by the idea. Let's put this idea on hold for the moment. I'll figure something out for you by war's end. I have great respect for your talent, Lenard. I'm certain I can find a way to make use of it that's to your liking. Hmm. Okay, now we Hubie and Petra. Let's go. Hubert, I have a request to give you, if I may be doing that. Hello, Petra. How unusually formal. You are always comparing me against Edelgard. I have been observing you, and you are not often making comparisons like that. So why are you always comparing me? I do not enjoy being compared. Hmm. An astute observation. I should point out that such a comparison only reflects well on you. I am perhaps doing so because you are both royalty. That is not making sense to me. In battle, you and I are the same. Neither of us has a higher rank than General. Edelgard is leading the entire army. But you and I are both leading a part of the army. That should be making us... What is it? Ah, comrades in arms. Comrades in arms, you say? When you are looking at me, you are thinking of me compared to Edelgard. But I want you to be looking at me as only myself. Do you have understanding? I do not want you seeing me as foreign royalty, but as your comrade in arms, who is working with you at your side. Ah, I understand you now. It seems I've done you a great disservice, Petra. Your friendship is important to me. I am sorry that I failed to make that clear. By comparing you to Lady Edelgard, I have treated you merely as one chasing after her shadow. I have done so even while believing that the Empire and Bridget would never go to war again. Do you really think you can stop comparing? I am knowing well that Edelgard takes a big place inside your heart. I do not fully understand it. But when I look at you, I simply cannot help but think of Her Majesty. Your past, full of hardship. Your unwavering determination. Your uncommon excellence. As such, I cannot promise never to compare you. But I will try my best to do so less often. Aww. For now, that will be okay. But I will not be giving up on this. And I want you knowing that one day, when you are comparing, you will be finding I have won the comparison. <laughs> what an amusing thing to say. Oh. The Edelgard's face would contort most bitterly were she to hear it. Be marking my words, Hubert. One day. Between the two of us, you will be choosing me. <laughs> okay, that's just like weird right now, but I thought it was kind of adorable of you and you. Ah, Dorothea. I am surprised to find you here. I did not think you were all that religious. There's a lot you don't know, Ferdy. 
But you're right. I'd hardly call myself devout. Hmm. After all, it was thanks to the goddess and her noble regime that I suffered so much as a child. You must be quite brave to speak so coarsely in this hallowed place. But what do you mean about suffering as a child? <sighs> do I really have to tell you? Oh, forget it. I'm sure you already know that I'm an orphan. I grew up in the alleys of Enbar, begging for coins, eating scraps, drinking from drains. I see. I remember seeing street children around the city. <laughs> I could have died. Then the right person overheard me singing. And suddenly I was in the opera. I was a songstress. And my goodness, did the nobles like me. The people who used to spit on me and call me an urchin. They praised my voice and my beauty. A nobleman who once kicked me gave me the most gorgeous shoes. I almost asked if it was a joke. So that is why you despise the nobility. But why do you think I am the same as them? Do you really believe that is the kind of man I am? Do you think I would ever treat people differently based on appearances? There is nothing noble about that. Oh, really? You're something different? That's not how I remember things. It was the very day that I was discovered. I was in high spirits. Nothing was wrong in the world. I secretly bathed in one of the town's fountains, hoping to wash off some of the dirt from the streets. I sang the same song the opera composer overheard earlier that day. And that's when you appeared. Huh? Me? No, it could not have been. While she was bathing? <laughs> you glared at me, the same look I've gotten from every other noble. Then you ran off. When we met at the academy, you were a different person. All smiles and friendly words. You were like a bee, Ferdinand. A bee attracted to a flower in full bloom. So it was you then, singing that song. Dorothea, please listen. This is a misunderstanding. When I saw you, I could not take my eyes off you. I was hypnotized. Your beautiful voice, your elegant face, Droplets of water on your skin that glittered in the sun. I thought you were a water nymph. Stop it. Don't lie to me. No, it is true. I was only a child. The vision overwhelmed me. That is why I ran. I plucked up the courage to return. But no one was there. I thought perhaps it was a dream. Hmm. Maybe I can believe you. I've wanted to ever since the day you made me those treats. I thought then that maybe you weren't like the others, but there's a lot I have to let go of, Ferdy. Of course. I am glad we had this conversation. You know, I do not mind you thinking of me as a bee. Life as a simple drone circling a queen. It actually sounds quite wonderful. <laughs> Don't drones keep the queen safe from other bugs? I like the sound of that. Huh. Okay, well, so I'll see, I'll see you and you. If you don't have any business here, go away. You're bothering me. Finally spotted me, did you? What do you want? They say you're the best. I wanted to see your training with my own eyes. <laughs> Spying on people. Is that a hobby of yours? I hope you got your film. Enough to see how to beat you, at least. You think you can beat me? That's right. See, I was trained by... Gerald, yes. So you know. I heard he was your teacher. Perhaps we should test you, see how much of your training sank in. I'm ready if you are. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Sounds good. When? I'll let you know. In the meantime, practice. I won't go easy on you. Oh, don't worry. I'll be ready. This will be fun. Okay.
if you ain't die you. Well, hello there, gorgeous. You're looking lovely today. Join me on a stroll around town. Aw, is a sweet girl like you doing all this hard work by yourself? That's no good. Allow me to help. Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Hey! Hey! Get back here! Whoa, no need to yell. Do you need something? You chat up all the girls like that, don't you? What a terrible thing to say. I see a girl. I figure it would be rude just to pass her by without at least a wink. Or a nice word. But you knew that. So, I'm going to get going now. See you, Leonie. Wait, now hold on! How come it's not rude for you to just pass me by? Me? Pass who now? Look at me! I'm a girl, you know! Uh... Oh, I see. A girl. You're a girl. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's true in theory, but it looks like my brain just didn't want to accept it. But you're correct. You are a beautiful girl in your own right. Yes, that is a statement with which I agree. I am ever so terribly sorry for being so rude, my lady. How can I ever make this up to you? Yeah, uh, hang on, back up. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Seriously, I feel just dreadful about how I acted. This is the first time I've done anything like this. It's shocking that I'm capable of such low behavior. Even if you are a somewhat crude, I mean, spirited girl, that doesn't excuse my... What did you just call me? Right, of course. I'm sorry. I can't believe I was so thoughtless. Hey! Acting pitiful won't get you anywhere. I won't just forget about this, you know. Damn. Okay. 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 Making my way down to cause Pardon me. What's up with you? Uh harvest with Good, and if we have uh, green, yellow, white, and another green, why not? <laughs> My throat. Hello. Hello. Um. We're pairing by AO. can do that this again. Oh what should I do? no Oh why not? We Felix and Petra Casper. Which one I want? Casper There you go. Much better. Much better. Should I ever have a tea party with someone? Would it be like a like where we're referring the herb the uh the herbs? I have to find herbs. Where, um the garden fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, herbs are like plants. Uh where could I find some herbs? Herb, 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 herb. Oh no, wrong one. I just picked up flower herbs. Report them back to you. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. How about Which who is actually will be like a person wait, let me just pray because ranks and stuff. Hey. Uh let's do you, you and 
Where am Who's my... I don't remember now. Pray. Cool. We are good. We are cool here. We are cool. Oh no, the statues are... Uh, I can go around and cross the... Does it actually say my like, grades on different skills? Oh yeah, it does. Boom. A plus. My faith is... I could upgrade my faith to make it a B. Authority? No, my authority is fine. Which is an A. Okay. Oh yeah, I did the yeah. I did the what the blue line things again. Went to that route to like refresh my memory a bit and stuff like that. And 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 actually like since I now I got like better like aware of the game and I will know what to do. I decided. To, hmm, and yeah, why not? We'll have a damn party with Felix if he's if he's up to it. I used to call my father the shield of Fargus. <gasps> oh yeah. Yeah. Yet the knights of Saros remain. What terrifies me most is his stubborn. He'll keep on fighting to the last piece of monster. I've seen it first. Okay, cool. It's not able. What? Um, I already had Dame Pie with, um, with the Death Knight, only because I was interested. <laughs> and maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, shall I actually go to, uh, Dorothea? Yeah, why not? Why not Dorothea? Why not? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you so much. There you go. She was able to. There you go. Because Felix can be bothered. Uh, Tea of the Saints? Thank you for inviting me, Professor. Ooh, she looks pretty like this. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. What? Everyone's posture and like movements are so really what a different. Happy like, Sylvain looks like a goddamn king, while Dorothea looks so elegant. Okay, Gossip guessing someone's age? I'm sorry. If it's fish of the sea, no cats in you can. Okay, she's a dog person now. <laughs> oh god, Dude, that was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. I felt so bad. <laughs> that was a bad. That was a love. It wasn't a lovely time. The conversation was going nowhere. You see, she also. Oh god. You want a stuffed animal? Thank you, professor. You can have a stuffed animal, ain't it? No, you don't want blue cheese. Sunflower. Thank you, professor. There you go. And uh, uh, I want a drill. Boom. Uh, who, who else maybe... Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to do reason... Um, faith. Uh, Manuela. Yeah, she's there. Who else does it? Who else does free um, faith? Who does faith? Which one's that way? Wait, oh. Oh, I don't care. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, you do that. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm looking for. Um, who does also do um, faith? Who also does? Maybe you. You do magic, so you probably do faith. Oh no, and also um, what's his name? We're not. Oh no, I don't want a tea pie from you. 
I know you do easily. Ling off, actually. Ling off is the, the other mag. What about like, boom? Oh, also, okay, Electro Hall. Sick. Oh, he was that. Oh, shit. Lord Arendelle, I believe I have explained or near the nerve is a. Oh, one, oh, have a, I was thinking I'm having a tear pot here with you, but I want to increase my my um, faith. The winning, while those of neither side will give. I hope perhaps. Okay, cool. Well, it's necessary side. Here you go. I got a BE. I got a BE. And what do I'm I do? Oh no, now I just boosted my grade. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay, I'll lecture. I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay. Okay. Cool. We will do you. Ooh, Casper is close. So close. Okay, so close. Uh, you, 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 you. Okay. We are good. We are good. Uh, I want you to Hubie. It's so... It's not... It's not annoying, but... After... Oh, Dorothea Darth, calls him Hubie, like, everyone, you know, Dorothy gives basically everyone, like, little nicknames or, like, showing their names and stuff. After, no, she kept, like, she called, um, I still um, Huber Tubi, so now I'm calling him Hubie. <laughs> Which is kind of, not kind of annoying, I got in my head. It's Hubie. Oh god. Okay, um. Uh, let's go. Whoop. Someone flies a pi uh, I'm about to say flies a pigeon, I mean. <laughs> Someone flies a, um, a, pe a pegasus. Fine. Uh, I guess. I have to. Fine, like. May I be asking a question? Okay, what's up? Uh, as I'm fighting more and, and, and my arrows are decreasing in quality, they're not flat as far as I less accuracy. What can I be doing differently? Oh, you you could shoot several arrows at once to ensure it. But new bow strings could help you shoot with more force. Well, maybe high, high so that you can be more. Uh, you have great wisdom. And no problem. <laughs> she was like, God damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lecture time. My favorite part. Uh, I just like the table sense. <laughs> I love the fa the fact. Let's get. We will. Okay. Wake up. Look. I know he was awkward. I get you. Hey, we got an ass. We somewhat got an ass. Ooh, someone's going hey. I'm so happy for that. <laughs> Ooh, oh, some of old cars. Okay, cool. And we'll go to bow. We'll go to bow. Yeah, we'll go to bow. Unless it's actually... Like, I shouldn't be a bit too picky on if there's anything in bow. Because we kind of do need to go to bow. Yeah, we kind of do need to go to bow, like, more often. Because... That was one of the mistakes I did. I didn't go to battle more often, but I keep going to what? 
I kept um doing what was it now um I'm uh, doing uh like free time uh, explore. I kept exploring the place, and uh, even though there'll be nothing different, nothing was different, and I was slightly bored of it to the point. I was really bored of it, only because just the many times I kept on doing it, the many times, and you, and you'll be like wiser just to actually go to maybe go to um battles more often, so I can level up. Like we got Elga level two, I'm level like forty five, so maybe by possible miracle chance I could possibly um I actually could possibly just achieve it. I'd be honored. Yeah I could I can actually cheat uh, oh wait oh mm-hmm mm-hmm Oh uh, yeah, you should do it. You should, you should do it. Oh wait, wait. Link out and oh yeah. You and Thunderman. Ready for anything. Thunderman mark one iron ball. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. That was good. Oh, uh, that was not good. Okay, if we have got the connect there. It's just like two of my swords mess. Wait, you know, two of my people. Well, yeah, they're both sword masters. How are we good here? Oh, uh, yeah, we yeah, are not good. Hubie, Hubie, Huber. If I come forward, I'll go. Forward. 